seven, six, main engine ignition, four, three, two, one. So, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science to the space station. Houston now controlling. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Columbus weighs anchor from its port in Florida. Atlantis on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Saturday. 28 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance, going in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Atlantis three miles in altitude, seven miles downrange. 50 seconds into the flight, the engine's beginning to throttle back up, standing by for that call from Capcom Jim Dutton. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Frick, joined on the flight deck by pilot Alan Poindexter, Rex Walheim, and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid-deck are Stan Love and Hans Schlegel and Leopold Ayarts of the European Space Agency. Ayarts hitching a ride to his new home on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already 15 miles in altitude, 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 2,000 miles an hour. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three auxiliary power units, all functioning normally. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation, good staging. Guidance now converging, the onboard computers commanding the main engines to swivel, aiming Atlantis for its precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. 